Hello and welcome back to Song Surveys on Sofas with Superheroes, the sub-series. So today is a new song. We did a lot, um, an older song last week. So um, yeah, this song choice this week was uh, kind of hard. There weren't a ton of newer songs from bands that I normally listen to. Um, and even this one is from a band that I don't normally listen to. I actually kind of just went through a list of things that had come out and pick this one um because <laughs> I listened to it and was like oh I actually really like that song now um so anyway let's get into it the song is Parents by Youngblood and um it opens with um like an instrumental introduction and they have like a bell that goes off um followed by just a bleh like right before the lyrics start and I actually really love that I think it um adds this like character to the song especially um in terms of the content is about parents and you know, you kind of start with this like alarm, like a wake up alarm sounding ring, and then you just get this like blah, right? Like it's just like, this is the introduction to the song, blah. Um, so I really like that. I actually thought that was cool. Um, the music changes once the lyrics start, and um, the verses are definitely more of like a rap like song um, where it's, you know, those fast paced lyrics, and it's definitely more of like a talking vibe than a singing vibe for sure. Um, but um, yeah, I really um, like how even though it's more of like a rap, the singer definitely holds certain words and kind of leaves spaces in between words that I think really um, make the song have this like grabbing sound to it. It definitely caught my attention right away. And I was like, oh, like even um, especially towards the end of the verses, especially the first verse, it's like the way that it just like gets like even more choppy than it already is, is definitely interesting. And I, and I like that and it definitely, um, you know, kept my attention and, and kind of pulled me in, especially towards the end of that first verse. Um, so the first verse is kind of an introduction to the singer's or person's life, um, growing up with his parents and how his dad was, did not accept him as being a homosexual. So really um, think the lyrics are definitely powerful and, and Again, they're, they're kind of grabbing. Um, so the line I really like the most is, I brush my teeth with bleach because I ain't got time for cavities. Um, I just like really love the idea, right? So when you think bleach, you think like super clean. Um, and I really love, especially when related to mouth, right? Like, oh, you're gonna, you know, I'm gonna have to like clean your mouth out or, or bleach your mouth, right? Like that like don't say things that are dirty or curse or say anything bad. So I, I like, that um you know this this thought of brushing your teeth with this like you brush your teeth twice a day every day right so i kind of like the idea that anything that this person says he feels is like dirty and somehow like given this image of like bad um so he uses bleach like every single day because he doesn't have time to like deal with all of the consequences of whatever he's saying in the real world um i really really like that a lot um i think it's really cool and also like, I guess maybe, ironically, if you actually did use bleach, you'd probably deteriorate the enamel on your teeth. So like, I, I don't know, I just, I really liked that line. I think the idea of, you know, doing something every day with bleach, like to clean your mouth out is just definitely something that um, grabbed my attention right away. Um, so then I really like that the end of the, the, like last two words of the first verse are kind of just a, continuation into the chorus lyrically wise like the it's like because is like I think one of the last words in the first verse and then you get into the lyrics like so it's kind of explaining so I really like that um it's a cool effect I've definitely seen it before but you don't see it that often so I really do um love how you know the lyrics of the verse actually make sense and go straight into the chorus so that's definitely a cool thing um the music does change when the chorus starts and um, you definitely get more of a singing vibe at this point in the song and not so much of that like spoken talking-ish vibe. Um, definitely more of like you actually hear the singing come out. Um, definitely love the first line, which is high hopes are getting low. I think it's a really cool line, um, especially because of like me personally loving the <laughs> high hope song by Panic at the Disco. So I really like this kind of new way to look at it, right? These high hopes are now getting low, even though I know they're not related at all. So I'm not saying that this is a related to that band, but I just think, um, you know, it's definitely definitely a cool line and I, and I do like um, the chorus. Um, I think the chorus is like super catchy and it's 
it definitely complements the whole song and it does so in a meaningful way like i really love the the lyrics and how it relates and um i think it they did a nice job of kind of putting everything together from the verse to the chorus and i especially love that it complements the song so well because that verse and chorus lyrically you never get a separation and i really love that so the fact that not only did the singer intentionally put the lyrics from the verse that go straight into the lyrics of the chorus but that it makes it in the song um like you know despite the music change and kind of the change in how it's sung it totally works and totally vibes together so i really like that and i thought that was a really um good choice and really nicely done um but yeah and then so the last line of the chorus the music drops which i really like and then um comes back in so i really like that too like i love how the music part of the lyrics kind of drop and then come back i think it was uh, again a really good part um then there's this part with like um ayahs and like it's really great like i really um it's almost like a post chorus which you don't really get a lot right usually it's pre-chorus chorus and then verse or whatever but um yeah it's almost like this post chorus and i think it's um really great it almost sounds like repetition of the word right right which is the last word in the chorus is is um they are the parents aren't always right and then so it kind of sounds like it but then you realize it's not actually he's not saying the word right um but it's like so good it's just so good it's catchy like and, and again the chorus is great and then to lead into this just part of um without actual word lyrics is just fantastic and it and it totally works and is a fantastic choice um and really great transition into the second verse really great um so yeah and also like the music in this part it almost gives like the like noises that you kind of hear it gives this like almost like childish creepy-ish vibe but in a great way not like in a Ooh, this song is getting a little too creepy it's like ooh, yeah that's like a creepy little like like if you listen to that one sound it sounds like like a creepy kids toy or something like i don't know it just it definitely works and i thought it was a fantastic choice um and again because the song is parents and talks about parents i, I thought it was um really an interesting choice and definitely makes the sound the song like come together and sound fantastic um the second verse continues and he kind of adds another part to his story but then also talks about um, a preacher having a relation with a young male. Um, and I think the lyrics where he talks about his own uh, relationship with his parents is like really like powerful and um, like it's just overall the lyrics are powerful, but that one part, um, you know, he talks about him like being in a bathtub with a toaster and his parents like laughing at that. Um, so definitely an interesting beginning verse. And then, um, the line that i really like is actually towards the end um so but nothing to believe in so let me know when my breathing stops um i think the idea of like you possibly not knowing when you're like going to die is just like interesting for sure um i really like that idea that like um it's potentially something that you wouldn't even realize um I think that's pretty interesting and i also wonder like there's the brand new song jesus christ right where the lines are can we work out a sign so i'll know it's you and it's over and so i won't even try so like i love that idea right like you know what just like let me know when it's over uh when my breathing stops right because like i'm not really gonna know and i might try and like think that it's not like i don't know i just i kind of like that idea um and i also like think maybe like potentially maybe you just like don't even care right you're just so like over it you're just like you know what just let me know when my breathing stops because at this point um so definitely would love to know the intention behind that um i think that's pretty interesting line uh and you know at at that point in the verse he did just talk about the preacher so i like that whole like there's but nothing to believe in um so i think that has to go with that aspect of it so again really interesting lines definitely Kind of made me think um and yeah so i think that was cool and would definitely love to know really what the intention behind that was um and then like so going sorry i know i'm like kind of jumping all over the place but when he says the word stop right after that stop you hear this like inhale of air being sucked in um in the background and i love that i love it in pretty much any song that that ever happens in when you get like that i just i love it or like that release of air like ah 
oh, like I just, oh, it's so good. So the fact that it's right after he says one of my favorite lines, like, let me know when my breathing stops. Like, I just, I love it. I think it was so good. And again, this song has so many of those like little tiny sounds that make it just so interesting and definitely, again, grabbed my attention and kept me like super interested in the song. So definitely good choice with that. And I love that part and it's really good. Um, then it goes back into the chorus and there's not really a lot of change. And again, it repeats that post chorus part, which I loved. So I loved that that was repeated. Um, then we like hit the bridge hard uh, and there's a pretty abrupt music change, which again, I really do enjoy. Um, and also during this part, uh, they're talking about a clock stopping and that bell that we heard from the beginning comes back. But I love, love that they did that because it not happens. So they repeat the bridge twice. And the first time they repeat it, there is no bell. And the second time there is a bell. And I think that was a really, again, fantastic choice, right? This singer deliberately put sounds in to make it sound the way he wanted. And I love that it wasn't repeated. I think it makes the bell from the beginning even more significant, especially because they could have done it twice, but they only did it once. And I thought that was a really good choice. Um, so really, really love um, that choice in the bridge. Uh, then it goes back into the chorus, but this time the music is like a little bit slower for this part of the chorus. And also the way that it's sung is like a little bit different. It's almost like more raw, which um, I really love. I think it's a really good choice, especially because it ends up being like the last time you hear the chorus. So you get like this like glottal fry almost in the singer's voice, which um, I think again, it. I love when they change things. So the fact that you've slowed down the music and kind of given the listener a chance to he like hear the singing part of the song. Um, and like you get this like raw glottal like feel to it. It definitely love that decision. Thought it was really well done. Um, and then there's that again, that post chorus part. Um, and then it kind of ends and fades out. And so, yeah really liked the song probably wouldn't have um like thought to listen to it i do know like one other song from young blood but not like a huge huge fan so yeah like i definitely thought it was an interesting thing that i probably wouldn't have picked up if i wasn't doing this um video which like totally makes me excited because that's like the whole point of this right is to share new music and kind of get people excited about some music that maybe they haven't heard before so yeah let me know what you think. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week with an old school song. <laughs> Bye. Happy Memorial Day.